welcome you now to our service of Ash Wednesday as we begin the season of Lent. I'm Pastor Mary Bellin. I'm so glad you decided to join us. This will be a reflective service, and as we go through the service, at any point, you're welcome to smudge your head with the ashes. So let us begin. In the beginning, God made the world, made it and mothered it, shaped it and fathered it, filled it with seed and signs of fertility, filled it with life and song and variety, all that is green, blue, deep and growing. God's is the hand that created you. All that is tender, firm, fragrant, and curious, God's is the hand that created you. All that crawls, flies, swims, walks, or is motionless, God's is the hand that created you. All that speaks, sings, cries, laughs, or keeps silence, God's is the hand that created you. All that suffers, lacks, limps, or longs for an end, God's is the hand that created you. The world belongs to God, all the earth and all its people. Out of the darkness came light and the power of God was revealed in the running wave and the flowing air, in the quiet earth and the shining stars. Out of the dust came life and the image of God was revealed. In the human face and the gentle heart, in the warmth of flesh and the depth of the soul, out of justice came freedom and the wisdom of God was revealed. In the need to grow and the will to love, in the chance to know and the power to choose. And God looked at the creation and behold, it was very good.
I will keep on thanking God with constant words of prayer. I will glorify in the living God. The humble will hear and be glad. Salt is good. But if salt has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Giving God, you blessed us with saltiness, but we became bland. You trusted us with your word, but we did not keep it. You lit a flame in our midst, but we hid it under formality, smothered it with our fears. God, in your mercy, forgive us. Forgiving God, we believe that you have called us to be salt and light, that you offer us time and space and strength to begin again. Giving and forgiving God, we thank you. Oh, God of life, of all life and of each life, we lay our lives before you. We give our lives to you from whom nothing in us is hidden. You are before us, God, you are behind. You are around us, God, you are within. O God of life, O generous spirit, renew us with your life, tonight, tomorrow, and always. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in distress. Though the earth trembles and the mountains slide into the sea, we shall not fear. Waters foam and roar and mountains shake at their surging. But the God of hosts is with us, our stronghold the God of faithful people. There is a river whose streams bring joy to the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst, it stands firm. God will aid it at the break of day. Even if the nations are in chaos and the kingdoms fall, God's voice resounds, the earth melts away. God is with us. The God of faithful people is our stronghold. Come, see the deeds of the Most High, the marvelous things that God has done on the earth. All over the world, God has stopped wars, breaking bows, splintering spears, burning the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God exalted among the nations, exalted upon the earth. The Most High is with us. Our stronghold is the God of faithful people. Here ends the reading of Psalm 46. Naked we came and 
shall return into the grave. Be still, my soul. Apprehend God in all things, for God is in all things. Every single creature is full of God and is a book about God. Every creature is a word of God. If I spent enough time with the tiniest of creature, even a caterpillar, I would never have to prepare a sermon. So full of God is every creature. Meditation from Mr. Eckhart. There is no pain in our hearts or in our planet that you do not know, O oh God, for you have touched the lowest places on earth. Teach us to grieve with you, O oh Christ, the loss of all the beauty that is being killed. There is no place in the heavens that cannot be touched by your resurrection presence, for you fill all things. Give us strength in your victory over death to grow into your way of love, which does not despair, but keeps sowing seeds of hope and making signs of wholeness. Under Christ's control, all the different parts of the body fit together and the whole body is held together by every joint with which it is provided. Teach us to know your interconnectedness with all things. Teach us to grow with each other and all living creatures through love. This day, as we begin our journey through Lent, teach us about mercy and hope. Remind us of the brevity of our days and gift us to understand again the purposes of our lives. From dust we came, and dust we shall return. 